trying to connect real projects with real people. So we're trying to provide a platform for people to do their own research uh, while highlighting good projects and a, a platform for projects to, to highlight their potential to everyone. So yeah. today, uh, excuse my pronunciation if I get it wrong, uh, we're joined by uh, Beloji and uh, <laughs> Crypto, Crypt, Crypto Tomato. And uh, they're from uh, Warmiz. Um, so I'm going to hand over to those guys, let them introduce the project. Um, but let's first, let's find out about you guys as a team, what you bring into the, uh, the projects and um, your experience in the crypto. Uh, perfect. So um, can I share my screen? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Go ahead. I think it says uh, you're sharing the screen. Oh, okay. okay. Try now, bro. Um, yes. There we go. Okay, I have got a lot of tabs my... open now. <laughs> 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 oh, I, uh, hold on. Let me let me just uh, uh, this. I'm gonna keep uh, this. I'm gonna keep this and take it out. This this this. Uh, this all right okay so uh to uh, tell you guys about the project and uh, briefly no um just to just so everyone uh, oh first i'm gonna introduce myself sorry <laughs> uh i'm below you guys um welcome thank you uh, thank you everyone for uh, being here with us i really really appreciate it i appreciate the support every one of you um, you're giving you're giving us your time, which is very very. Uh, I'm grateful for you know. Um, me, uh, my name is Beloji. I've run a, a crypto project before this uh, that is called DB Quest. Um, uh, I actually did it uh, when the market was bad, and it kind of like uh, did the four x, three x multiple times uh, during the project. And I gave out a uh, fun fact about it is that I gave out seventy BNB to one winner um on live uh, uh video uh in my past project which was uh, really nice it's it probably changed uh, his life you know um so uh as a background on myself me i'm a great gamer i'm a big gamer uh, uh i used to play counter strike csgo cs 1.6 gary's mod minecraft all of those um and i used to run uh, uh, one of the biggest computer communities back in 2014 2015 uh, approximately like that um and i also own a couple of companies here in canada uh i got an arcade company i got a design company a, a web development company as well um and i also do merchandise and, and stuff like that uh i can show you guys here what i don't know if you if you guys can see it. that's the arcade Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, when did the time? Where did you find the time for all this, man? <laughs> um, I mean, man, uh, me, I love to work. Uh, me, productivity for me is 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 a is a medicine, you know. Um, I don't like to sit down and just do nothing. I actually like to improve my life, improve the way I am morally and physically. Uh, so that's me, guys. Um, and I'm here working on Warmies as well. So. Um, we got this. <laughs> so you've got Crypto Tomato with you today. I'm not sure if he's speaking, but it, say he's your developer. Yes, exactly. So uh, Crypto Tomato, you want to introduce yourself uh, quick, or you can't talk? Is it is it too late at your place? Yep. So yeah, uh, my name is Marcel. So I'm from Germany. So yep, uh, I have a. Seven years of web and mobile development experience. Yeah, so I'm specially in JS frameworks, React JS and QJS and Node.js. So, oh, but blockchain development, I have started from 2017. So, I have started the blockchain development from Sandbox Game Company. 
thing. So yes, I worked for one year. After that, I was worked on other companies as a blockchain developer. So also cool. worked on worked as on the Chizdar project. So yes, built the nice. so, Yes, you, you developed the contracts for this as well, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, nice, sir. Back over to you, Belogi, then. Um, yes. So if you want to quickly tell us what team's going to smash it, what do you think is going to be the one that's going to take this project <laughs> to the top? Um, uh, so, like uh, Crypto Tomato said, uh, this is Marcel over here. Uh, this is Crypto Tomato. Uh, you guys can see it on, uh, on our website. Uh, uh, this team that you guys see on the website is not everybody. There's still more. There's a marketing team. There's a couple more people that work um, for me personally in my company, uh, designs and all of that. So um, there's team members that are not like uh, into crypto and stuff like that, but they still work for me, you know? Um, uh -huh. So uh, like uh, crypto, like Marcel said, Crypto Tomato, uh, he worked uh, with Sandbox. Uh, he, he, he has a very, very good uh, background experience, which is really nice uh, for this project. Um, man, the, the team is great. The team is very, very organic, like transparent. Everybody is loving each other, you know. Um, Nobody is hating on anybody. Uh, there is uh, uh, like, there is a connection, you know what I mean? Uh, and that's very, very important in a business, in a project, to have a connection with your team, with your partners, uh, because otherwise it's just going to go downhill, you know? Uh, and I'm very, very grateful for that. So, yeah, 100%. Like, I think it's yeah. um, pretty, when you invest in a project, you're not just investing in a project, you're investing in a team. So that's why it's kind of a, a an important question, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, uh, and, uh, and the project in itself, it's just, it's not something that you, you're just going to launch there and, and go to sleep. You know, um, we actually have 11 utilities, uh, in this project guys. Um, how does this work is to unglobe, uh, the crypto space as a whole and to have a sustainability in the project in itself. Uh, because we could have, we could have focused on one niche, uh, and just go there and then like. It would kind of die out and stuff like that, uh, but we did it. We are focusing on on a lot of utilities that can have a nice cash flow inside the project in itself, uh, where a lot of revenues are gonna be uh, coming from different places, growing the holders, growing the community, growing uh, 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 the gaming community as well, growing the investors, um, and it's 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 just like it's gonna grow it in itself. You know what I mean? Um, as, as for the project Wormies, I'm going to explain it to you guys quickly. Um, the 11 utilities are this. You guys can go to the documents page, uh, docs.wormies.com. Uh, you guys can view everything that you guys, I'm, I'm showing you and I'm telling you right now. Uh, so you have, uh, Wormies portfolio, you have Wormies token, uh, staking and NFT staking. You have the uh, game, which is going to be available on all platforms. Uh, iOS, Android, PC, uh, and you're going to have a VR experience as well. Um, you're going to have an NFT marketplace inside the game, and you're going to have an NFT marketplace available online as well. Uh, you have the uh, IGO launchpad, and you have an NFT launchpad. Uh, uh, the IGO launchpad is going to mainly focus on the metaverse uh, projects, uh, games, and stuff like that, because the market... Uh, is previewed by big, big uh, uh, companies. It is previewed to, to be like uh, worth around eight to $13 trillion market. Uh, so that's our main focus for the Launchpad uh, IGOs. Uh, we're also going to have uh, a land in Sandbox to, uh, it's to basically to have a lounge uh, to, to interact with the community, to interact with the investors, it's exclusive events, and more and more. This is going to be available on the Sandbox lounge. Uh, we also have the uh, Wormies merchandise where with the token in itself, you can actually buy merchandise. Uh, you can buy an arcade machine, you can buy clothing, you can buy uh, uh, custom products where you can put a picture and I laser print it. You know what I mean? Uh, all of that is available here with me. Uh, 
so I don't have to outsource anything. So it's everything is available to me right here. Embroidery, uh, anything, anything that is available for the merchandise will be available for Wormies. Um, there's also one one thing that is very very special that I haven't seen into in the crypto space, which is the innovative custom mining. Um, so the custom mining is basically when you go inside the game, uh, it's a play to earn, right? Uh, so you can either earn Wormies or you can earn a custom coin that you can mine while playing the game. Um, a coin like ETH, uh, BTC and stuff like that, you see? Um, so basically you enter the game, the game is going to ask you, uh, can the game use your computer or use uh, your phone or use your graphic card to mine the coin of your choice, right? Uh, and then while you're playing the game, uh, it, the computer is, is going to uh, automatically mine the coin for you and it's going to be in your wallet uh, available. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's very, very simple. Um, it's not simple. Um, <laughs> that's the way to do it. Uh, but it's very simple for the user interface. Uh, and that is our goal. You know, uh, The simplified versions brings more people. Um, uh, basically, if you guys know the, the, the coin Pi, where you go on the application on your phone and just click mine and just mines, uh, and that coin has been mining for like the past six years, but there's nothing on the market yet. <laughs> you know? never, never ends. <laughs> Ever been mining coin. Never ends. Yeah. Exactly. But people still mine, which is, which is actually great, you know? Um, so yeah, it's, it's this kind of concept. Uh, and it's going to be in development, of course. Um, so the game is going to be iOS, Android, PC, uh, VR experience as well. Um, and yeah, man, uh, th that's, that's the, the pro project as a whole, you know, like in a, in a briefly explanation. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you catch that? No, no, <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't even. I'm not sure, I keep disconnecting slightly, I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, what, so the name, Warmies, why? Let's, let's talk about that. Why Warmies? I guess. Yeah. Okay, first of all, me, I choose my names uh, strategically. For example, Belogi, okay? Belogi, yeah. my name, ev every single letter of my name, Belogi, is actually a, char a characteristic of mine. Uh, okay. So, uh, B is uh, for Bloom, your glow of life. Uh, example, you know, it goes, it goes on and on. Warmies, why I choose Warmies is because it's a war game, right? Everybody mm -hmm. fights, everybody shoots grenades, uh, uh, bazookas and stuff like that. And Warm is a warm, right? It's a warm. So I kind of like went with Warmies, you know what I mean? It's kind of cute, but at the same time, it's a war team, you know what I mean? It's nice. But let's, I mean, we've, we've all seen this logo before, right? Um, this logo that you see? Yeah, obviously, slightly variant, slightly varied. Um, but but why, why have you specifically gone for that look? Is there a reason? For the look of the logo? Uh-huh. I mean, um, the the designer actually did the logo. And uh, uh, b before before there was a grenade, it was an A. He did it with an A. But then, uh -huh. like, I kind of looked at it, and because the project in itself were were like, it's inspired by the game War. You know War, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I kind of like told him to remove the A, put the grenade on. Probably gonna look better, you know, because it's a war game. So. Um, and and it looks good. He kind of did it. I liked it, and they went for it. You know, it kind of attract. It like it's attractive in a way. <laughs> it's nice. Like, I mean, it's it's yeah, it stands out. I mean, I think every gamer probably recognizes the the style and that. Do do you yeah. worry about any com comeback from Team Seventeen? So, uh, team, uh, I've had uh, a lot of questions regarding the copyright uh, and stuff like that. Uh, so, what you guys see here is, um, I'm, I'm going to show you something um, that I deal with copyrights. I deal with trademarks and all of that. And for Team 17 uh, in itself, 
I'm more than happy to get in touch with them. I'm more than uh, than happy to talk to them and actually uh, have a collaboration or offer them something uh, that they want. You know, because like I said, the the metaverse market, uh, the gaming market uh, with the NFTs and all of that is going to go to uh, eight to thirteen trillion dollar market. So it's not something to sleep on. Just like the internet when it was uh, twenty years ago, or you know what I mean. Um, so this is my company of the arcades, right? Uh, I have Mario, I have Pac-Man, I have all of that. So why my company is still running is because mm-hmm. I, I have, I have knowledge in copyright. I have knowledge in trademarks. I have knowledge in all of that. And I also have my lawyer that is working, you know, um, I'm actually partnered with the biggest financial company in Canada, which is called Paybright. uh, with the company so basically pay bright uh, you can finance uh, uh, the uh, the product uh, with time you know um and to show you the product guys uh it's not a cheap product it's not 100 bucks it's 2200 um and you can custom your own uh, arcade you can custom your own designs you can do whatever you want um so th- this is just to prove to you guys that for the copyrights and all of that everything is handled everything is done properly um so nobody has to worry about that you see street fighter uh pac-man uh nba mortal kombat all of that um so everything is handled properly regarding the copyrights and stuff like that uh so that shouldn't be a worry have have you trademarked this logo uh this logo as you guys can see uh it says it's trademarked uh but it's in the works okay yes Cool. That's why everything I everything I use with Warmies, uh, you can notice the trademark uh, uh, sign on it. So, would you say it's fair to say that you've done this st- st- strategi- strategically, um, kind of hoping for a collab down the line? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, I mean. Uh, to, to work with Team Seventeen, that'll be that'll be amazing. That'll be the best uh, the best thing uh, that could happen. You know, um, it's this project is inspired by the game. Is inspired by Worms. Uh, like, have you like when I was playing Worms, I used to like uh, have fun. You know, the sounds and all of that. It, it was fun. You know, it was just genuinely fun. Um, and to actually have NFTs, to actually have uh, it, its own uh, uh, base, its own system, uh, its own money, uh, cash flow, its own uh, project, its own NFTs that you can play with them inside the game. Um, I think that would be very, very good for Team Seventeen. I think that would be a very, very good uh, uh, project to to go to them and actually uh, try to have a collaboration. You know, if 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 I, if I remember, did they try to release some NFT? Exactly, uh, and then they backtracked on it and decided not to go ahead with it. Yeah, is that right? Exactly. That that was back in January. Uh, uh-huh. That was back in January where they wanted to actually uh, go ahead, create NFTs, and and go on and on into the crypto space, into the digital world. You know, you can say, um, and they didn't do it uh, uh, for for obvious reasons. I I don't actually remember the reasons, but they didn't do it. Um, me personally, I believe is that they they're still not understanding the crypto ish NFT space. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Uh, there's because we're not gonna lie to ourselves. We're still uh, little comparing to the worldwide population into the crypto yeah, yeah. space. You know, we're still nothing. Uh, so I believe that was the the reason behind behind them, like actually trying but then backing up. You know um so that'll be good that'll be good cool right so we've touched on that i think um let's go back to these utilities and 11 utilities sorry can yes. i just what? jump in one second it's uh go on. mark. sorry this sorry. this is mark my partner He's, yeah, uh, yeah. Just... <laughs> sorry i was i was i've been listening on on my phone i've just got back i'm back on the laptop and stuff i've been listening to everything yeah. but i just wanted to come in on back to the the uh the issue of the trademark and stuff you mentioned that it's in the process. Where are you looking to? Um, is this going to be like a worldwide trademark of the of the Wormies of my uh, logo? Yes. Yes, I mean uh, it. Uh, it's 
like it's in the process in a way that uh, um, we're looking forward to it. Uh, but uh, that will be, of course, that will be announced into the project. Like I'm not going to announce something now. And then, you know, like I, until I'm sure, this is how I work. If I'm doing something and I'm sure about it, I will announce it because I know when it's going to happen. But yeah. if it's something that's still into the process, that's still into development, I can't tell you a date. Because if I tell you a date and then nothing is going to happen in that date, the investors are, are going to be like, okay, what's going on? You know what I mean? So until I'm sure, then I'm going to be announcing it. Okay. And uh, realistically, you shouldn't have the trademark logo without having the trademark in place, should you? Um, as as a project, as a... Uh, um, as as a logo as a it's it's all it's all about the marketing uh, campaign uh, how people view it how people see it um of course you guys uh, know more uh, about trademarks about copyrights about all of that uh, than some of the people right um but in the point yeah. of view of uh, of all of the community in the point of view of the investors looking into a project um that has these things that has these uh, exclusivity you can say because when you trademark or when you copyright something there's a touch of exclusivity to it you know um and and that's the plan in the future of course like uh, i didn't put the trademark just to have an image like that of course it's gonna happen to uh, to be trademarked and more and more you know what i mean yeah Absolutely, yeah, yeah and it, yeah. and it does add credibility. I would I would argue that it's misleading to do it ahead of time, and we know about trademarks, so we know about it. But people, community members, people looking to invest and stuff, will just go off that logo, off that trademark symbol, and presume that you have got that in place and stuff. But um, just um, just on the whole, the trademark and the, the link to Worms and the, the fact that obviously you've been inspired, surely it would it be better to negotiate in terms in advance of launching than it would be to wait until you launch and then they file some sort of lawsuit against you and you have to then renegotiate terms. The, with the team 17 yes exactly yeah yeah i mean uh, um as for the project as a whole uh, i don't i don't believe personally that uh, there's uh, some si uh, some sort of uh, copyright with my project uh because the only thing is uh, actually the game that is inspired from it and all of the rest is uh, is just additions to it you know what i mean uh like i said it's 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 a whole system that is in one place it's not only the game and that's it um we're not copying anything uh we're basically just uh, uh in getting inspired from it you know what i mean uh mm -hmm. like uh, the gameplay the gameplay is going to be similar the gameplay uh you know it's war and stuff like that uh, but there's going to be different modes. There's going to be uh, different uh, gameplays, uh, different uh, multiplayer, uh, free-for-all, and et cetera, et cetera. You know what I mean? So it's it's an inspiration, but it's not a copy. You know what I mean? Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm intrigued yeah. to know how the game's going to look and stuff, so I'm sure Toby will delve into more details about that in a second, so I'll hand it over, Toby. Yeah, <laughs> no, sure, man. So just going back to these utilities then, there's a lot of utilities yes. of work. Where's your focus to start? So as for the utilities, um, uh, we have the staking that is going to be ready. Uh, we mm -hmm. have the staking here. I'll show it to you guys at the same time. Uh, you guys can view it over here. This is uh, how it's going to look. Uh, this is the staking UI. So... Um, the staking is going to be ready at the launch of this project. Uh, why? It's because um, we don't want the investors to invest and then have nothing in return at the same time. You know what I mean? Uh, there's 11 utilities. We could, we could launch all 11 utilities at once, but what would be the benefit of that? 
there won't be anything. There will be only the benefit of having everything. And then you just like sleep on, you know, um, it's also a marketing uh, way to uh, publish things strategically with time. You know what I mean? So you do uh, staking, for example, then NFTs, then uh, et cetera, et cetera, you know, um, yeah. the staking is going to be ready at the launch uh, for the people to stake uh, their warmies while waiting for the NFTs while waiting uh, uh, for the, uh, the demo, uh, demo game that's going to be available uh, three weeks after launch, uh, approximately, something like that. So it's uh, a play, pl playable demo three weeks after launch, yeah? Ex exactly, approximately, something like oh, that. And when are you planning the main launch of the game? The, the, the... Uh, so, so after the demo, uh, we're going to see every single aspect of it. Uh, we're going to, of course, we're going to be bug testing, uh, seeing everything, how it's going to plan out. And then we're gonna announce the time uh, of the of the game that is gonna be uh, launched, launched. You know, uh, because we can't know uh, when it it comes to programming and stuff like that. You can't actually know when the game is gonna release unless you release the demo. You do the test, a lot of tests. Then you you have a time frame in a way to understand the launch. You know, but it's not gonna be in in six months. <laughs> it's not gonna be in like a year or so. You know. Um, <laughs> uh, so when when he, he launches next week, did you say? Uh, yes, uh, not next it's, week. It's uh, the launch is actually in three days because pre-sale is on the twenty fifth of May. Uh, twenty four hours later is gonna be the launch. So this this demo is that ready to go now? Have you have you have take it you've basically finished work on that? I know I know it's going to be released in three weeks, but is it is it is it's it ready? Is it, it's being developed. It's being developed. Okay. Yeah. So, like I said, in all of the 11 utilities, uh, one utility we're going to have available at launch, which is the staking. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's next? The uh, after the, yes, exactly. I, <laughs> I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you guys a preview. I'm going to show you guys a preview. Uh, Can I actually see, show you? Yeah, yeah, you can go for it, man. It just, it like, uh, let's. Uh, I'll just say something from my point of view, though. And I know we're coming across quite hard at the minute, but we we kind of ask. Yeah, it's okay. It's what it is. This is this is the legit crypto launch. So I, I have... <laughs> staking to me is not a utility. It's something that everybody offers. Yes, yeah, good to have in play. We can knock up a staking platform pretty quick, can't we? Um, so to me, it's not a utility. It's a good thing to have. While we're waiting for utility, yeah, I, I, I get that. NFTs again, most projects that come out these days, it's, it's the, it's kind of like the standard, isn't it? We've got we've got staking, we've got NFTs. The the, the core utility for me, I want to know, is, is that going to be your game or your launch platform? Like, wh where's your focus going to be first? Okay, so you have. Uh, uh, I'm going to show you something. Wait, one second. So. Uh, you have the staking for me uh, is the utility in a way because you're actually giving back for me, my point of view. Okay. Uh, and the staking I, is you, 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 uh, sorry. So I was going to say, are, are you giving back through tokenomics or are you giving back through the initial uh, token distribution? Yeah. So if you, if you want to go through the tokenomics, I can actually uh, go right now. So you guys can see here, you have, uh, 1 billion supply, you have the tax of 8%, 12%. You have 15% uh, that goes to staking, 15% that goes to dev uh, development, and 53% uh, marketing, 17% uh, LP. Now, the 53% uh, that goes to marketing, it's split. Uh, you have marketing, you have uh, designs and uh, uh, graphic work. Uh, you have also uh, uh, development as well. Um, where, where's the uh, token allocation in that? What do you mean? Did you did you have private sale? Oh, oh, you're talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, uh, oh, sorry. Is, it, is this a uh, okay? Sorry, yeah, I, I'm with you now. Sorry, that's a division of your tax, right? Sorry, I thought that was exactly. your um. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no exactly, problem. Yeah. Uh. I can tell you if you want the 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 uh, the private sale, the pre-sale, and all of that. If you, 
Yeah, so uh, yeah, no, 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 it's okay. We can come to that in a bit. So that's fifty-three okay, percent okay. of the eight percent buy tax goes to marketing, or fifty-three percent of the twelve percent sell tax goes exactly, to marketing. Exactly, exactly. Right? So yeah, it's split sure. into four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with yeah. you. Yeah. So, um, uh, so yeah, as as we were saying, the main utility, um, it's. It, it has different utilities. You, so you have the launch pad, you have the NFT uh, launch pad, uh, you have the uh, uh, the merchandise, you have the innovative custom mining, you have the um, um, the game as well. Uh, so inside the game, so you're gonna have a marketplace. You're gonna have uh, um, uh, you're gonna have random airdrops of crates. For example, each time you finish a round, you have a, a crate airdrop uh, that people can unlock. Either uh, free uh, free people that plays for free with the base character, or people that plays with the NFTs. Uh, there's two uh, two different things. Uh, they get airdropped a crate, and people can purchase a key, which is like gonna be like two two dollars, three dollars, three dollars approximately. And they're gonna purchase the key to unlock that crate, and they're gonna have a a, a random NFT. Uh, so uh, that's that's one of the things inside the game. Uh, and also, uh, if, if for example, me, I don't know crypto, I don't know anything, but I'm playing the game, I'm still going to get those uh, airdrops of uh, random crates because it's random, you know? It's every match, at the end of the match, it happens. Um, uh, yeah, so for the NFT players, the, the players who have the NFTs, uh, they can uh, earn earn warmies they can earn uh, uh, the custom mining they can uh, 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 trade and uh, put their nfts into the marketplace uh, they can purchase another nfts and and more and more you know um so as as for the game it's a uh, it's something that is that is i'm working on to grow a, a, a gaming community you know what i mean a gaming community is is uh, very different than a investors community. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you game yourself, but it's it's yeah, a different point I, of view. You I know? used to before kids, mate, and now I've got kids. I just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't get yeah. time to uh, have a shower. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I do shower every day. It's good. But, it's good. <laughs> yeah, like uh, I know I know what you mean. A gaming community can. Um, I say it could be a lot more stronger than um, uh, a crypto community that kind of changes with the volatility of the market. You know, one minute they're up, one minute they're down. Gaming community exactly. is just kind of like, yeah, exactly. Uh, they're, they're they're there to game, you know. So, so let me just go back to that again. Is is the game going to be your priority focus? Yes. Okay. And have you got a timeline on on when you want to bring that out by? Uh, the game is going to probably be available. Uh, first of all, it's going to be available on iOS and Android. Then later on, it's going to be launched on PC. And then uh, later down the road, there's going to be the VR experience. The so, VR so experience is... Yeah. So I was just gonna, sorry, I was just going to say, you, you've taken a, a different approach to most, most games, where most come out on a desktop first, and then mobile later. You want to do it the opposite way around? Exactly. Why? Okay. It's because... Everybody has phones. You have a uh-huh. you have a you have a phone. I have a phone. Everybody has a phone. Um, exactly. <laughs> and you're literally on your phone. If you if if an average an average person that has a uh, that has a smartphone, uh, his average time uh, screen time on his phone is from five to seven hours approximately. You know, every day. Uh, that's something that not a lot of people spend on the PC. Uh, there's a lot of gamers on the PC that spend 12 hours, they spend crazy amount of hours, you know, uh, but it's a different way to market uh, the game in itself. You know, so it's I, easier on the phone. How do you want to fund the game? How's that going to be done? All through the tokenomics? Exactly. So you have uh, the tokenomics, you have, uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, the taxes, the taxes. And yes. how much budget, how much budget are you looking at to, to develop it? Uh, so the game is uh, uh, is gonna cost uh, approximately twenty 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 five and and more and more. You know, 
thousand approximately Hundred. exactly yeah no okay <laughs> not, not, well, not uh, and um crypto tomato i can't remember his uh, real name excuse yeah. me um, crypto tomato parcel he's going to do your game development yes so him he uh, he's he has a team under him you know what i mean so him he's he's kind of the main dev uh, blockchain uh-huh. dev and everything and him he has like a, a, a game developers under him so he has people working for him as well exactly and how many does how many people does he have working with him um uh i can't i can't i can't remember actually but it's probably around three three people something like that three i think he just said three yeah cool okay uh what about the idea you look uh, sorry sorry yeah unfortunately no i i was in his uh dm right now he said he'll be offline uh no problem. Like that, so yeah. we'll, we'll talk about you, Tomato, and not to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, so um, let's go to this um, IDO launchpad, IDO NFT launchpad, did you say? IGO. Um, IGO. IGO. Exactly. Uh, so the the launchpad is, uh, the launchpad is also going to be a... a, a good focus on well basically the whole project i'm going to be focused on it you know it's not only one thing that i'm going to do and then i'm going to leave the rest everything no no i i i I get that but but you're also at the same time what you're doing is just you're spreading funds everywhere when it could be working on on one development getting that development to a stage where it's perfect and then moving on to the next development so i'm trying to do here by these by these questions i'm trying to work out where you're going yeah. to be going first, where your focus is going to be going on first, because if, if you if you're doing all these different things at different time, you're spreading you, your own oh, resources, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's... financial resources. So I, I was just trying to gauge which direction you want to go in first, and, and where's where's going to be your focus, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, it's the, the IDO launchpad and IDO uh, IGO, IGO NFT. <laughs> Um, sorry. Um, what, what's your um, what, what's your, your your take on that, and how long that's going to take you to get out? Um, so, the IGO, um, it's basically gonna be the main focus is basically gonna be. Uh, you guys can view it here in the docs if you guys want. Uh, it's basically gonna. Be, by the way, this I gotta change it. It says lawn lawn spuds. <laughs> <laughs> um so basically the it's going to be mainly focused on uh, gaming projects uh, uh metaverse uh, and and the same the same domain you know what i mean yeah uh, like i said the market is growing rapidly and that's super good um so we're going to be uh, uh having like audit uh, audit services and stuff like that for the projects uh to help them move forward um with the better prices and stuff like that uh, why, why why would it come to you why would they use your launchpad so there's gonna be different characteristics different futures that will help uh the project owners to come to the launch pads to make them uh grow uh to have a better uh, a better base a better uh because me when i create something me when i create a project I want to create it quality, the best quality that I could in my hands. You know what I mean? Uh, so when projects come to me, I've seen a lot of launch pads. I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of projects that just like launch on launch pads, like as scams or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, me, I actually want to create something that is very safe. Uh, so I like I'm going to do my research even before I'm going to let a project uh, go and join that launch pad. And uh, that's going to be like my way of building a quality one. Um, and give it's, them it's, also. It, yeah. It's, it's, ref- it's refreshing to see a launchpad focus on a specific genre, actually, you know, because yeah. there is a lot of launchpads out there now. I, you know, it's, it's been a trend for the past year, hasn't it? Like, you yeah. know, there's a launchpad popping up everywhere. And I. 
I haven't really seen too many that focus on a on a particular product or or token launch. You know, so it's it's exactly it's refreshing to see that. So uh, yeah, so th- these at the minute are just placeholders, right? Like Ninja Mutant Turtles, it's just a placeholder. Have you been in touch with any projects? Have you got any potentials lined up that might want to launch, or have you not got that far yet? Uh, not yet, not yet, no. Not cool. Yet. Yeah, it's still in development. No problem. By the way, there's good points that you said about uh, focusing on one thing. Uh, me personally, I believe in energy, right? And uh, I know that when you have your focus in different directions, like for example, you have 10% here, 10% there, you, you're never going to have 100%, right? Uh, mm-hmm. But but me, I'm, I'm organized. The way I think is that um, my 100% is inside the project, right? And with different utilities. That's why I told you earlier in this AMA, the way the utilities are going to launch, the way everything is going to launch is strategically timed. Uh, meaning like um, uh, it's, 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 it's planned with the marketing. It's planned with, uh, with how, everything, how everything is going, how the community is going, how the investors is going, you know. Um, you launch one by one by one by one, then you move on. Like you said, you got to focus on one. You build it up, make it good, make it quality. You put it, you move to the other one. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's that's how we're gonna launch things. Cool. Yeah. I don't, I don't, th- I don't think it's a bad thing to be on a a pivot in crypto as well. Like if you've got certain things kind of ready at a point where you can just finish it off to get it out quickly because then the current fad is let's say nfts so you push your nft marketplace because nfts are going mad and then you know or so you're ready to push that but then all of a sudden it's like um mining like uh this this custom mining becomes a, a, a mad craze and you can use that to your advantage i don't i don't think it's necessarily bad to have different things kind of set out but if your energy is focused on one one thing, then it's also good because it happens quicker. Like, I understand, I understand what you're doing. Um, there, yeah, there's always going to be like sneak peeks for the people and all of that, you know, like me, I'm very transparent. The team is very transparent. So we always like uh, show the, show the community, show the investors what we're doing. Um, we're not, we're not here to hide anything. We're here to, to actually grow everybody together. So whatever, whoever has any questions we are always here to answer them professionally you know mm-hmm. um yeah cool do you want to um conscious we're getting on with time but there's a lot of utilities to cover do you want to summarize <laughs> any more um uh, i just want to say one thing about the merchandise yeah yeah sure um so you guys have uh, t-shirts, uh, rugs, uh, acrylic, <laughs> arcade machines, custom, <laughs> custom awards. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah. So you have, uh, you guys have all of this over here. Uh, you guys, if you guys want to see the audit, uh, the audit is available uh, over here in this page. Uh, you guys can. Uh, if you guys want a better understanding of the cash flow, the AP uh, uh, of how everything is gonna go into this project, you guys are more than welcome to view it here. The tokenomics, the audit, the token in itself, and the utilities. Um, a marketing background on myself, just to show you guys quickly. Uh, my gaming community back in 2014, 2015 was so popular. Uh, I was the marketer of it. You know. Um, I made the community grow, grow to thousands of people, uh, thousands of members, like in the U.S., in Canada, in Europe, uh, different uh, uh, different countries. And uh, my servers were actually so popular that even influencers and great gamers, for example, like Hiko, uh, would join the servers and they would actually play the server and uh, play the game and actually enjoy it, you know. Uh, so as a background gaming on myself um it's i have a good decent base background uh for the gaming communities and stuff like that and i also used to run the forums where people interact ask questions and stuff like that and uh, do, you, do, are you, do you still have the connections there to these people streamers and stuff 
so I still have my Steam. Uh, I I still have my Steam. I even have a friend of mine uh, that is called the uh, the only Shady. Uh, do you play uh, Call of Duty? Uh, I I used to. Yeah. I... Wait, it went quick, do you know, it went quickly downhill for me though after I think Modern Warfare <laughs> 2 and it started on a downward slope. Um if you do you have TikTok? If you guys have TikTok, um this is this is one of my friends. He has one point one million followers. Um if you guys know him right. This is one <laughs> So um so yeah, this guy is very very cool. Uh, just to to prove it to you guys, I have him here on WhatsApp. I'm just gonna show you quick quick. Um, no, cool. so um, uh, it's I I have connections. I have good connections. Uh, a couple of influencers. I even have the um, I have a, a guy. I don't know if you know Calypso. Uh, I don't. Uh, I, yeah, is, I have, is it uh, another streamer? Yeah, uh, no, 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 no. Calypso is a marketer. Uh, so basically, okay. this guy have all of the connections of the celebrities. So if ever I need anything, I can just contact him and we can make it happen, you know. Uh, he can get anybody that you want. Uh, Jake Paul, uh, uh, Lil Pump, Lil, I don't know what. <laughs> all the Lils. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that, that's like, just a uh... like the uh, the rapper version of uh, baby tokens, right? Lils, <laughs> exactly. Baby dudes, baby. Uh... <laughs> exactly, exactly. So yeah, you're yeah. also working with um, Brother Marketing, aren't you? And is he exactly, doing yes. is he doing all your pre-launch marketing, or is he working with you after as well? Uh, so he's doing uh, uh, the marketing right now, uh, pre uh, pre uh, pre sale, launch, after launch, uh, and then uh, uh, later on, we're, of course, we're gonna keep uh, working together. I mean, uh, the, like me personally, I I really love them. You know, they're really good. Um, so yeah, we could move forward together. You know, because having one brain to work. Yeah, is okay. Is good, but having multiple brains is is way better because you have different suggestions, different feedbacks, different connections. You know, um, so yeah, we will yeah, nice. Um, let's just have to take a quick look at the, the the token and stuff. I presume you you've we finished with the utility now, yeah? Because we're talking um, marketing, yeah, yeah. So. Um, yeah, do you want to do you want to hit us with your, your token distribution? What you're doing in terms of your your, your private sale, pre-sale, where you're doing it, uh, where all your tokens are going, Gempad. Yeah, so good choice. Yeah, so uh, um, this is uh, can you guys see? Okay, so this is the contract, guys. Um, it's been verified on BSC Scan and all of that. So. Um, uh, you guys can go view it on BSC scan or you can uh, check the audit, whatever you please. Uh, so the pre-sale is going to be on Gempad. Um, Gempad, I like it. I like it. They're really good people, you know, and uh, a couple a couple of friends of mine actually suggested it. So uh, we went with it. As you guys can see, we have the KYC there. We have the audit uh, and all of that that you guys can view. By the way, this is says ETH. But it's not ETH. It's just because I'm not connected to my uh, wallet, you know. Yeah. But this is B BNB. All all of the ETH that you see is BNB. Um. So this is this is how the presale is. Uh, it's a hundred uh, uh, BNB soft cap, uh, two hundred uh, BNB hard cap. Um. It's a it's low. Why is it low? Is because we are uh, looking to have buy pressure, right? Uh, we don't want uh, a lot of people dumping. We don't want uh, like to have a, a kind of like a like like a like a spiky, you know. Um, so it it's slow to have the 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 best buy pressure there is uh, and to follow the market so we can have also the push of it. Um, the pre-sale rate of the tokens is over here. You guys can see it. 
million five dex mm-hmm. rate million four uh this is the listing rate so uh private sailors they get 10 percent more than the pre-sale you know that's yeah uh, that's that's the only thing and also they get uh, uh private sailors they get um uh nft whitelist spot as well all right cool so yeah private sellers are getting uh is that 10 percent is it per bnb uh so it's 160 yeah, yeah. uh yeah, one point one point six five million uh, million, yeah, and then one point exactly, exactly. That's ten percent more than one point five. Yeah, exactly. By yeah, the way, cool. as, then... as, uh, just so you know, uh, the calculations between the LP and the market cap is very good. Um, so the market cap is going to start at approximately two hundred k, and in the LP there is going to have one hundred and twenty BNB. Which is which is a very uh, uh, very good ratio, you know. It's fifteen yeah. percent, yeah. And we're raising what two hundred BNB at pre-sale, did you BNB. say? Yes, exactly. And how much private sale did you hold? How, how oh, much did the, you raise? Yeah, the private the private sale approximately fifty five BNB. Yeah, approximately. We had. Yeah. Uh, I I can actually have the numbers. Uh, uh, if you want <laughs> no no that's okay uh, Pro- have, approximately yeah. is fine it's okay I have... um as long as approximately isn't like a difference of a hundred no 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 <laughs> it's not no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> approximately is like one being more or less you know or like zero point something <laughs> yeah cool no that's, no, that's fine man yeah. um so and so has, have you used that presumably pre-launch uh marketing and stuff like that uh any exactly. development all marketing all marketing okay yeah so what so 120 bnb to uh lp, LP. and where's the other 80 bnb going so What's the 80 BNB, yeah so the 80 bnb is gonna go uh some is gonna go for marketing some is gonna go for development as well um so basically i'm gonna be uh, uh paying a little bit for the team uh so we got to pay ourselves, right? Like we're not working for free. Um, yep. And then uh, uh, the the rest is going to go for the marketing to push it even more and more and more, you know? Um, it's going to be strategic marketing. So it's not going to be like, okay, all in, okay, go market it now and then we sleep. <laughs> no, no, it's going to be constant. Um, like uh, uh, constant, like weekly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you got a split on that? How much do you want to put into the initial development of the of the eighty BNB? Uh, yes. Yes. So approximately looking towards uh, uh, thirty thirty BNB, something like that. Okay, and and it's just your your uh, 30, token. 40. Yeah. Your token allocation. Oh. Have you got no team tokens? Are you doing no it? Team oh, no team tokens. So, so is there, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to make yeah. Sorry, I want to make something clear because the total supply is one billion, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, the pre-sale, if you calculate it, uh, it's it's actually written over here. So you so we have one billion total supply. Uh, tokens for pre-sale is three hundred million. Tokens for liquidity is this. Sorry. So approximately, uh, uh, of course, there's still like uh, 700 million, right? Where is uh-huh. the 700 million? <laughs> um, so we have approximately 82 uh, million, uh, 82 million approximately that's going into the private. Uh, and we're going to have uh, 10% that's going to go into the staking wallet. Uh, we're going to burn 19.95% we're going to burn of the tokens. Uh, Say that again. How much? 19.95. 19.95. So let's just say 20%. Yeah. 100. I'm get, yeah. I'm going to give it to you all so it can actually be like 100%, you know? And when um, are you planning to do that burn? The burn is going to be uh, uh, after we launch. After launch, so after everyone's got their tokens, yeah, the initial people. 
Yeah. All right. Um, let me, let me, let me. What's the uh, reason behind the burn? Just to uh, create some hype? Uh, it's good. It's good for the project. It's good to lower the supply for a better market cap as well. Um, so it's it's good for the project in itself. But we didn't want to burn all of the rest. Uh, I'm going to explain it to you in one second. I'm just getting the um, the numbers, numbers straight. Um, so, so yeah, so we're burning uh, here. I got it. Perfect. Uh, so we're burning 19.95% of the supply. Um, we're gonna, we're, we're keeping 10%, 10% of the supply for, uh, uh, listings later on, you know, because we need, uh, we need coins to list somewhere else as well. Uh, so we're keeping 10%. It's going to be locked by the way. Everything's going to be locked. Um, how are you locking have... it? Are you locking it on a, a time lock? Are you going to do it on a, like a ever lock, for example, the community vote to unlock it? No, we're gonna we're gonna lock it. Uh, we're gonna lock it for uh, uh, for three months, uh, just like the LP. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, after the uh, on the three months, we're gonna uh, we're gonna see like of course before we're gonna see what we're gonna do, uh, where we're gonna list and stuff like that. And then uh, we're gonna split it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, eight point twenty five percent private sale, pre sale. Uh, forty-six point eight percent. Uh, staking. Uh, the staking wallet. Uh, it's gonna have fifteen percent. Uh, for the reason of uh, uh prices, events, uh, uh, staking, um, and stuff like that. You see, um, to airdrop people and to do, to to actually give back to the community. You know, uh, uh, just, and the rest is burnt. And the rest is burnt. Well, eventually, over time, not in one go. You mean? Uh, me, I was so thinking you... in one go. Yeah. Okay. So the the question remains is what? Why not just start with uh, a lower uh, token supply? A lower supply. Um... <laughs> <laughs> why did you ask that question? No, I was just kidding. No. <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, one billion. Um, it actually uh, suits best um, instead of having like a uh, hundred trillion or one quad uh, supply or you know a billion. Actually, I see it uh, for the market cap for the uh, LP, the numbers and everything. It's 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 way more clear uh, for the investors, for myself, and to have more more information regarding that. Uh, it's gonna be the dev, but the dev uh, right now is probably like he can't talk or something like that because it's at night. Um, yeah, he said yeah. he was dropping out. That's no problem. Yeah. Um, let's just. But we can. To... We. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, but we can. No, always, no, go on. We can all. We can always answer your questions. Uh, you can. Yeah, DM yeah. Us anytime. Yeah. Like, don't worry about it. Uh, uh, listen. It, it, uh, any anyone who comes here and does an AMA, you're welcome to come back. And you know, if we if we have if you haven't got a question, an answer to a question, for example, just come back and tell the community. It's no problem. We, and we welcome like significant updates as well. So if you, if you're bringing significant updates for the community, come in and drop them in. Check in with the community. We'd like to build up a relationship. So we'd not, we'd like to see how things are going. So feel free to do that. Um, let me just go back to the staking. Um, yeah. So we, we're setting fifteen percent aside for the stake in, which is uh, just over a hundred million, right? One uh, one uh, one fifty. One fifty million. Yeah. Sorry, because you're starting with a billion. One billion. Better one billion. numbers. But, but we're Better numbers. Still. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, what kind of AP a, 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 the stake in rewards are going to be a native token, obviously? So, what kind of rewards um, are you looking at? So, so. Um, I see a lot of projects like they do 2 million percent, 3 million percent, 5 million percent, you know. Um, me personally, I don't like that. It's just to grab the attention of the people, you know. Um, uh -huh. it's, not, it's not realistic numbers. Uh, us, we're going w more with realistic numbers, which is uh, uh, the AP. By the way, for the people over here, the APY is calculated as uh, 
as as to see how much you would you would make for 360 days for example the apr on the contrary is the exact number of how much you're gonna make uh that's just like an information for uh for you guys like to have you know um so the ap uh 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 APR we're uh, looking around like 215% approximately 215% yeah uh, that's AP, APR yeah not APY yeah. uh that's uh, uh the numbers again um uh, the the exact ex- it's it's going to be like that but the exact exact number it's uh, with the dev right now i should i should have taken it I should have do you, uh, noted do, it. Do you, do you think that's sustainable from sell-offs of the native token? Yes, of course. Uh, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't be? Because you are all your biggest holders are going to be rewarded twice as much tokens per year. So let's say I, I put in ten thousand dollars to start with. Let's say we get a, a 10x, so that's a, yeah. you know, this, this becomes a 100k. So I'm getting 200k worth of tokens, more than 200k worth of tokens per year, and I just sell off the native tokens, creating downward sell pressure. 215 percent is quite high to me. I know we talked about millions, but 215 is still quite high to me in terms of a native token. Um, I'm just wondering how 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 you think that's sustainable in, from your perspective, yeah. uh, we, we, you know, without creating that sell pressure, because it's a, I've seen it happen time and time again. One project was doing particularly well, but they were offering s- similar APR. Um, yeah. uh, let, let me earn be old every time I got the staking rewards. It just dipped and dipped and dipped. So what's your plan? Um, uh, so the the APR is one twenty percent. I just got it. Uh, one twenty. One second. Uh, Crypto Tomato, can you talk? Are you here? Yeah. Oh, here. Hello? Uh, yes. Uh, so the Hello. question is uh, the staking uh, APR, uh, APY, and APR. Uh, can you uh, can you clear that? Uh. Oh, uh, is uh, uh, 120% and to be the daily compounding. So, AP, AP is really, uh, 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 yes. Wait, wait, I think, I think your microphone is, is a little I think bad. I got it. I think, I think he said 120% of his APY, not APR. APR. Is that, it's a, it is APR, 120% APR. Yes, and that will be uh, 231% APY. Why? APY. 201% APY. Yes. Two, okay. 231. We will, yes. We will uh, reorder the daily. We will uh, send the reorder daily. So it will be compounding the daily reorder. So APY. Yeah. APY, so, guys, APY, I, I, want you, I want you to come back with them figures because they don't add up. 120% APR in terms of APY is probably going to be a lot more. Um, so, just just get get them get them figures in your head. Okay. Okay. We're we're gonna we're gonna. Yeah. Because it's it's, it's 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 an important thing for me because too too much too much reward in a native good. token is not good. Um, exactly. When you when you're rewarding something like B and B or whatever, it doesn't matter. People can take the B and B. People can reinvest the B and B. Um, but yeah, yeah, come back with them numbers. Yeah. Let's not let's not get them wrong. Yeah, um, yeah, it's okay. I'm I'm gonna get it ready for you, and then we're gonna. Yeah, yeah cool. Um, uh, what about locking on them stakes? So 120. percent What's the lock on it? Like, if, are you locking for a year, or is it flexible? Tomato, Marcel. Yeah, yeah, yes. Say again. Uh, uh, lock, lock in the, lock in the uh, staking. So when I go to stake, am, am I 
provided with options of different pools for staking or is it just one set staking reward and is it locked for how long is it flexible can i withdraw it so yes users can lock the tokens from uh, one week to uh 50 days for now one week to 50 days and that so that apr is going to be variable then depending on how long they yes. lock it for yes it, it depends it changes based on the staking period so 50 days is the max APR, 120%. Yes. And no, what's the low? Basic, basic APR is 120%. And if we take um, uh, 50 days, it will be uh, 130%. About. All right. Listen. Let's 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 move away from that. Just come yeah, back yeah. to me with the, come back to me with the numbers in the clear kind of you, format. I'll get so. you all. I'll get you all of that, and I'll I'll send it to you. I'll send yeah. it here in the chat, guys. Don't worry about it. All right. Cool. Um. Uh. Yes. So give me a second. No problem. Uh, Marcel. Uh, Marcel. We're gonna we're gonna uh, see the all of the numbers. We're gonna. Uh, uh, Prepare it, everything, and I'm gonna send it to uh, uh, to LCL. Yeah, um, yeah. Let's. Your contract is it uh, a fork contract? Is it um, is it a brand new contract? And in which case, have you done any testing on it? Uh, yeah, I think you you are audited, aren't you, by Contract Wolf? Uh, so we are uh, we are audited. Uh, you guys can see the audit uh, on our docs, and also um, uh, the the contract has been tested, of course, uh, on the test net before we before we deployed it. Um, uh... Okay. <laughs> As well, I'm guessing he's done the testing on the contract, right? <laughs> this is a brand new contract. You haven't forked it from anywhere. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Listen, Mark. Do you want to come yeah. in with any questions, buddy? Um, have you got KYC in place? Yes, of course. Uh, I have. Uh, I actually had the KYC with Pink Cell, uh, but. Uh, I passed the KYC with Pink Cell and everything, but they kind of like canceled it because I kind of like went with Gempad. Um, and now I have a KYC with Gempad and I also have a KYC with the brothers, like uh, for the marketing, you know? Um, and I'm always, I'm always here. I'm always uh, uh, like, I'm Docs, you know? Uh, even on the, with the community in the chat, uh, everywhere, anybody like who says I'm Docs, me, I always send a selfie. <laughs> yeah okay cool um we i I, uh, I feel like i've got loads of questions on the utility side and stuff but i i won't ask them because uh i'm conscious of time and stuff but i just want to ask what on uh, one topic which is on the nfts because i know i feel like having looked at your website and stuff that these feed into your ecosystem um so can you just explain a bit more about how the NFTs work? You know, how much they're going to cost, uh, what yeah. what the value is, things like that. Exactly. So uh, I'll show you guys over here. Uh, one second. Uh, don't mind my desktop, actually. <laughs> <laughs> one second. Uh, so as uh, the same time as I'm grabbing them, uh, as for the NFTs, uh, it's going to be uh, 6,000 NFTs, uh, three different characters. Um, here, I'll show you. I have them over here. Okay, let me share. Okay. So... Um, uh, three different characters. Uh, the characters are uh, over here. I sent some previews uh, to the community. So you have this character, this uh, squarish character, and you have Boomba. 
Me, I call them Bumba. So. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're very cute. So each one of them is going to have 2,000 NFTs. Um, and uh, each NFT is going to be a mintable price at uh, around approximately $150, $200. Um, and, uh, yeah. and the NFTs in itself, what you can do is you can uh, stake it. Uh, you can uh, uh, play with it inside the game. Um, for example, you have this NFT. Uh, oops. You have this NFT over here, and you can go to war uh, with it. Uh, the NFT over here uh, with the um, everything is done with Blender, by the way. So, um, uh, is the three D modeling program for the games and stuff like that, the animations and. Uh, uh, accessories and stuff you know uh so you have the nfts over here um you can see them they look pre pretty nice me i like them personally uh they look cute relaxed <laughs> they look relaxed <laughs> yeah yeah i like it um when you say there's three three variants is this like you know common uncommon rare is is that how that works no no it's uh, uh sorry sorry three characters Oh, okay. Each three, yeah, three characters, and inside uh, of each three characters, there's uh, the attributes, right? Uh, there's the rarities and stuff like that. Uh, the percentages and everything is 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 written, right? Um, and would it's diff it's basically the same thing, and each character is just a different character. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And and will these have special features that are? mean something within the game uh so when you have the nfts like this uh inside the game you can actually uh earn uh, and you can actually um uh, 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 uh trade it uh, in the marketplace uh, sell it uh, get another one uh with the nfts in itself it also unlocks the custom mining uh so uh, that's very interesting um okay and, yeah, and, and the earning also, element, the earning element within the game, is that just based on the like number of hours that you play, or is it is there like a leaderboard type thing? Sorry, sorry, I didn't understand the question. Um, the play to earn elements and mm. the the way it links with the NFTs. Do you earn based on the amount of the time that you play the game for, or is it like a leaderboard style thing? As in, top of the leaderboard gets more prizes. Um, of course, there's gonna be events and uh, and events and uh, uh, contests and uh, stuff like that to uh, to give back to the community and to to the investors, right? Um, uh, uh, <laughs> what <laughs> what was your question, bro? <laughs> 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 um, I well i swear my my head is still in the numbers the numbers yeah. are mistaking yeah it's uh <laughs> okay okay is, tell is, me i'm with you is, is it been a long day no i was yeah, just gonna it's, it's ask when, when i was looking at your website and stuff it, it it kind of alluded to the fact that it's the, the play to earn element is based on the time played yeah the time the time exactly 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 so the time you play so basically um a lot of gamers they play and they spend hours 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 of, of gameplay right uh for example one match of league of legends can can go to 45 minutes right um so the more time you spend on the game the more you earn it's as simple as that and of course there's gonna be contests and stuff like that for like the leaderboards um uh, there's going to be uh, events uh, there's going to be tournaments there's going to be prizes uh so yeah okay yeah cool yeah, yeah. that answers that then um, um so just one final question and it's something that one of my community members uh brought up as well partly it was on the marketing side and the fact that you're going to have an allocation of tokens to one but no if if you can mate Put your mic next to your mouth. <laughs> Can't hear you, brother. Can you hear me better now? Not really. It sounds like you're in a fishbowl. Uh, not again. Not again. I'll try and make my uh, question quick. 
Yeah, yeah, we Go can on. still, I can still hear you. Okay, so uh, marketing and influencers, um, are they paid in tokens or cash? Who, the, the contests, winners and prizes? The, it, in, influencers, so influencers for the marketing, how are they paid? Oh, cash, 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 cash. Because we know, we know with the marketing, um, influencers don't care. Don't care if your project dies, if your project explodes, they don't care. Um, influencers and famous people like that, they just want their money uh, and that's it. Uh, so you give them, you pay them the money and that's it. Uh, you don't give them tokens, you don't break your project. Uh, you don't actually, uh, you got to make the right decisions to do so, you know. Uh, so no tokens for influencers, no. Okay, good. Cool. Good, an good answer. Right, that's it. That's it from me. It's, it's follow up question is where does where's the cash coming from? And that, but that's is that's coming from your tokenomics, your tax, yeah, and uh, presumably half of your pre sale before half of that eighty B and B, so forty B and B towards marketing, wasn't it? Dev development. Yeah, sorry. So we, we had eight, eight, so 120 B and B of the pre sales going towards uh, yeah, LP. Yeah. 40 is going towards marketing. 40 is going towards development. Yes. So that that his question was, where's the funds coming from for the influencers? So it's that that 40 initial B and B for initial marketing, and then you are going to be reliant on the tax from the token, right? You also have the taxes, of course. Uh, that's why we have 53% of marketing for the taxes and 15% development. You know what I mean? So, yes, yeah, so it's, it's just about, it's about 4% buy tax for marketing and 6% sell tax for marketing. Is that right? Mm. So, so, I don't, so, I, I don't know how you did that calculation, but <laughs> so, so if it's if it's 50, 53% of that 6%, was it 6%? Eight uh, percent buy, four so percent yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, four. So basically, four percent of that 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 buy tax is going towards marketing, and then six percent of that sell tax is going towards marketing. Y yes, if your calculation is right, yes. Yeah, well, they're they're about it's like three percent. I'm not yeah. going to argue about. Yes. Cool. Yeah. All right. So uh, uh, it's good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, listen, so uh, we're an hour and 23 minutes now into this AMA, give or take. So we'll close up the recording so we can get it out. Um, but we like to, I mean, do you want to have any, any statements you want to say before we ask the, the final question? Recording. Yeah, so, so hey, oh. anything you want to say before we, uh, we, we've got one more question we always ask here. So uh, anything you want to um, say before we. No, no, ask, ask your question. Cool. Uh, so, you, you've been question. asking great questions, man. I love it. You, I'm, I'm noting, by the way. Huh? I'm noting every single question you're, you're asking because I'm gonna <laughs> work on it. And <laughs> yeah, that's, that's cool, brother. Just come yeah. back as well and let us know if you think you can. Uh, it, one thing that's valuable, man, is when you do these AMA tours and stuff. Um, projects come in, and if you learn something and you can take on it and improve on it, and you know, take it as constructive feedback or whatever, and you can improve on it. And right. you go to every lounge and someone gives you something. Overall, it makes your product better. So, exactly. you know, a, te a team that can take feedback and improve on things. Exactly. Yeah, like hats off I to you. I, I like your mindset because that's how I think. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, listen. You have a good uh, mindset, man. You have a good mindset. Uh, uh, every day is a learning day in crypto. And, exactly. Uh, you in know, life in general, every day. You life know. in general, yeah, you're right. So, yeah, so anyway, our, our question that we like to ask here um, is, is basically a, a, a project doesn't become a success without a clear vision from its team. So what we want to know is at which point does this project become a success to you? Um, the, the big, uh, I'm not going to say the big, um, when the project starts to sustain itself, uh, that's when the success comes. Um, meaning that uh, 
uh, when when the project starts to uh, have everything running, for example, the launchpad, the game, everything, everything is running properly. That's where the success comes. That's where you you are able to tell, okay, uh, we have we have we had our vision, we did our vision, and now it's just to sustain it, and the project is gonna sustain itself and with the team working on it as well because there's always going to be improvements right uh, there's always going to be developments updates and stuff like that so as 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 long as the project is done everything is done everything's clear that's that's the success of the project and then later on it's just to market of course more cool. and more you go go yeah perfect man well listen thanks for joining us in the lounge today um, I'm going to finish off the recording here. Um, you took some t- tough questions from us today. Um, I love it. But, look, thanks for coming in and uh, I really appreciate you joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me, guys. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you all for the support. And uh, of course, I'll be getting the I'll be, I'll be going getting back with the information. <laughs> nice one, man. Appreciate that. <laughs>